My name's uh, Ian Schoons. I work at the uh, Institute of Development Studies at the University of Sussex. Um, and uh, I'm a coordinator of the Future Agricultures Consortium. And together with Tufts University, based here in Addis, we've just finished a two and a half day conference on the future of pastoralism in Africa. Uh, we've had about 90, 100 participants with us and, and some really key themes, I think, have emerged out of this. First, pastoralism is live and well in certain parts of the, the continent. There's a, there's a massive driving market that's creating incredibly vibrant cross-border trade in, in a number of places. The, the greater Somali region obviously being the most uh, prominent of these, but it, equally in other areas. But also there are downsides. There's incredible pressure on, on pastoral grazing lands, the uh, acquisition of land for land investments, the movement, the encroachment of uh, pastoral grazing lands and key resources in those areas by agriculture and other land use resources such as wildlife. It's constraining pastoralism in a number of areas. And then of course superimposed upon those constraints is conflict. Conflict is a recurrent feature in pastoral areas and has been for many years. But the combination of resource pressures and conflicts is putting a lot of people under pressure. So we see in a number of pastoral areas this uh, division between those who are making it in, in sometimes moving up, uh, commercializing, being successful, engaging in, 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 in regional markets, and those who are really struggling. And so there's a big, big questions for policy. What do you do at the two ends of those extremes and how to, how to address that? And one of the things we've been discussing in the workshop is the importance of the new African Union framework for pastoralism. The African Union, uh, with its CADAP framework and so on, is a, obviously a leader in, in thinking about the future of agriculture more broadly. In, uh, in the continent. But now with a framework uh, document agreed by uh, ministers, um, we now have a, a broad policy framework which member states can relate to. And I think here is a moment around which some of these issues that face pastoralism can be addressed. So uncertainty for sure, questions of climate change, uncertain markets, uh, conflict and so on, but also a positive story. And with that, a great diversity and the need to attune policies to particular areas and particular places.